Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika. Welcome to the channel where we make eco-friendly calf shows, earrings, clay earrings, a lot more on our channel. So welcome back to new video on this week. We are going to show you how to make a silicon earrings. Now silicon is eco-friendly material, great substitute for plastic. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a silicon earrings in this tutorial. So let's dive in. Before Gopha, consider clicking the like button guys. I do really appreciate that. If you want more such video in the future, consider subscribing. We upload video every single week when we do so. You'll be gonna you're gonna get notified about it. So let's dive in with today's tutorial. What are the materials required? The first and very most, you're gonna obviously need a silicone. I'm using a silicone sealant. Now this one is completely set. You could see I have used a silicone sealant. I have made this kind of stuff. It's completely set and I'm gonna be using, once it's completely set and it's already set, so I'm gonna be using this one. I mean, you can use a silicone rubber or you can very well get the silicone sealant as well. I mean, you just need a silicone because it's so flexible. We can do it even when it's set and that's what I'm gonna to do in this tutorial i'm going to be using it because it's completely set so that is the first thing you're going to need the second thing you're going to need is a brush because we are going to be painting our silicone we are going to make it colorful not just white then you're going to need the wire elements for your earrings now i'm going to be showing you how to make one from here you're going to need the pliers i'm using these pliers you're going to also need a pair of scissors because i'm going to be cutting the silicone and anything that we need to cut it you will be needing it the last thing which is uh, which is important and uh, you would be needing the color so i'm going to be using the oil colors these are non-toxic colors i'm going to be using the colors the foremost thing i'm going to be extracting the silicone this one is a completely set silicone i mean you can use the new fresh silicone from the silicone sealant your coke or even the rubber silicone but i'm going to be using this one and i'm going to be breaking it down into the small pieces for making the earrings that's what we can take it out the specific size so i'm just going to be make it in the specific size from here okay i need another ball like this one so you could see i have taken these two small circular pieces of silicone i'm gonna be taking my scissors and i'm gonna be just cutting down to give it a roughly shape now these will not going to be exactly the same shape and size because these are already set so I'm just going to make a roughly the shape and size. I'm not going to be going into the perfection over here because these are completely entirely handmade. So I'm just going to make it roughly the shape and size, not the exact shape and size that you get it from the molds. When you're using a mold, you're going to get the exact size and shape. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to take a roughly because that's what I want to make. I just want to make it roughly. And that this one is the first one. So I'm going to be taking a pair of scissors over here. And I'm going to literally cut them out using the pair of the scissors because I just want to make it the roughly the circular shape. And that's what you can very well do because it's easy. These are equal to each other. Keep like this. Like almost similar size and shape. These are not really exact. If you want the exact one, please use the molds. I don't want the exact one. So that's why i'm just cutting it with a pair of scissors and i'm using the set, set silicone for that you need a liquid silicone you can't use this one because these are already set so we are done with these two spherical balls now i'm gonna color them seriously because uh you can use them like white as well or you can color them or you can add the glitters whatever you want to do i'm just gonna literally color them the oil paints and i'm gonna be extracting the oil paint with them it's gonna be literally coloring like that only of course, you can use some medium over here if you want to thin out your oil paint, but I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm not using anything over here. I'm just directly applying it with the uh, dry brush and using a direct color. That's what I'm doing. Of course, it depends on you how you want to do with that and how you want to proceed with the uh, color of the oil paint. Since it's a non-toxic, so that's why I'm not, pair I'm not using a pair of the gloves. But if you're using something which is toxic, please use a pair of gloves and please use a respiratory substance and open the windows and all that. Then only use that. Other but anyways, we are about to move towards our particular tutorial. You could see I'm just trying it because that color, I literally love that. And that color look gives it like a so beautiful appearance for our earrings. I'm going to be using cotton because I applied a lot of the color on that and I don't want it to make it too dark. Because I want the white to be visible from the silicone, the white color of the silicone, that's a kind of like a translucent one. So I'm just going to remove the extra blue color from this using a cotton. I mean, you can use it, the cloth as well, and you can use whatever you want to use. This just is optional, so that's why I haven't mentioned the material required. It depends on how you are using the color. 
it depends entirely on that if you're applying very single coat and very light coat then you won't be needing this cotton applying multiple different coats then naturally it will going to take even more time to dry it completely so that's why you have to apply a single coat and very light coat so that it dries within three or four days otherwise it will take days or maybe a week or so to completely dry by taking the example of the first one so i'm just gonna apply a very light coat so much white there you can apply a more blue color but I think it's finished. I'm not gonna apply more color over here. Alert my piece and I'm gonna be allowing it to dry for two or three days. Once it's completely dry, then only I'm gonna be engaging the wire elements into them because these are completely filled with color right now. And I'm, if I'm touching it, I see my hands is also getting colored with this particular blue color. So I'm gonna allow it to dry for two or three days. Once this complete oil paint is dried, Within two or three days, then only I'm gonna be actually using the wire element and I'm gonna be attaching my wire element to that. Put on them in the cotton. So this is a cotton. This is just an option. You can put it on the piece of paper or cloth, whatever you have. And I'm gonna just place it like that. And I'm gonna allow it to dry completely. As you can clearly see that we have colored our silicone balls that I'm gonna be using for my earrings. And I have kept it onto the cotton and I'm gonna leave it for drying maybe three or four days. Once it's completely dry and it's not getting my hand stained, then I'm gonna be attaching these wire elements to the silicone. But before that, we're going to move towards making the second one for our earrings. The first one I've already made, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one. And I'm just gonna make a circular ring. I have shown in my lot of my videos how to make this circular ring. I mean, you can very well watch the different tutorials on my channel about it, but I'm gonna be making this circular ring right now for attaching our silicone earrings. And then we're going to bend it like this. And we are done with this one. And we use the silicone balls only, then only I'm gonna adjust it later on, but I'm gonna allow the silicone to dry and then Okay guys, I left them drying for three to four days and now you could see these are completely dry and I'm gonna be attaching the wire elements to them. So I'm going to be taking the wire elements. So these silicone balls are already dried. So I'm going to be using them and I'm going to be converting them into the earrings. And I'm going to be attaching the wire elements. So first of all, I'm going to be taking this one. So let me just take this one and attach this one over here. So. Here we go. Just take a little bit quite thick over here so that it won't break because silicon might break. I mean, I'm not sure about it because that's what I'm trying for the very first time. And then you have to close this one using the plier. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to be closing this one. And here we are. And then I'm going to be attaching this particular element to it to complete the earrings. Okay. So you can see guys I have closed this loop and I'm gonna be taking this one over here like this and then I'm gonna be closing this loop as well so you need a plier for that so take your plier okay take your plier and just close this loop using the plier clearly see we have closed the loop and the first pair of the earrings are ready so this is a earrings already and I'm gonna be doing it with the second one as well I'm gonna be taking this one loop
This is the end result of the silicon blue earrings it's kind of like a prussian blue color so this is the final results hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you think in the comment section below do you really enjoy this particular tutorial or not if you want more such silicon earrings diy let me know in the comment section below but thank you so much for tuning in today's video see you for the next time take care bye guys